Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is about having lots of good creative ideas and something really great coming to mind. So uh, you're working in whatever you're doing right now, uh, a lot of insights and inspirations coming to you. And you've got uh, dealing with any kind of um, legal problems and being able to sort them out. So if you're dealing with any kind of legal situations, you will be able to get some clarity and some insights about that and you will be able to sort that out. Uh, and you'll be quite victorious because you've got Mars over there with the sun, so something really good coming out of it. So some victory coming in for you there. And, uh, you know, this is a card that is talking about uh, pay attention to any kind of health issues that you might be having. If you're not feeling a little bit un under the weather, that will end. Uh, but make sure that you're taking care of your health. Any kind of stress-related illnesses, uh, take a little bit of a break. Don't, um, you know, put all your energy into your work where you're not paying attention to your personal health. So in the past, um, you've been having a, you know, it looks like you've been dealing with some uh, depression, uh, some kind of confusion going on over there with this moon card. Uh, and Gabriel is about, you know, communicating, um, you know, and needing to open up about uh, any kind of things, any kind of problems that are depressing you as well. You've got uh, the card of Jupiter over here, so you might be doing some studying as well uh, or doing some kind of course uh, in the past, so spending a lot of time. And maybe this is why you've been feeling a little down because you know you've had to focus all your energies on on your study and um you know maybe that is causing a little bit of stress in your life so going into the future you've got uh, dealing with people that are uh you know you might be dealing with some jealousy or envy with the people that are surrounding you some kind of news coming in as well you've got this lightning rod coming in over here something's coming in quite suddenly uh that gives you some insight on how to actually deal with these difficult people uh, but you know be aware that people around you are not there for your best interests and anybody who is negative you know try and get get them out of your life because they are bringing you down and uh they're causing that kind of depression. So whatever, you know, you're dealing with uh, envy or jealousy, these people are the ones that are causing this depression or, en or um, jealousy. It's clouding your mind a bit. You've got Mercury there with the moon. So this is about, you know, uh, not seeing things clearly, being depressed about it, um, uh, dealing with difficult people, people saying things that are very critical. So that's the kind of energy that you're dealing with. So try and walk away from these negative energies, walk away from these negative people because they are not serving you at this particular moment. So those are the energies for that week. <coughs> so this is the Green Witch Tarot. I put it in the description box. So have a look. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the witch here. Oh which is the same as the magician in the normal tarot deck. Uh, this is about um, being very, very busy. So you are multitasking, doing a lot of things. And this is a card that's ruled by Mercury. So, you know, um, a lot of mental energy going into your work and pretty busy at the moment. And you're focused on finances, getting your uh, emotional situation sorted out, uh, doing a lot of communication. You might also be dealing with people um, that are a bit deceptive as well, because Mercury can be a kind of deception. So, you know, people saying things that they don't really mean. So don't trust everybody around you. Keep uh, your secrets to yourself. But this is being very, very busy. This could also be about travel uh, and, you know, uh, learning. Um, so, you know, you are pretty busy at this particular moment. So what's happening with you? You've got the world card over here and the king of pentacles. So uh, this is, uh, both of them are cards of achievement. So whatever goals you've been working towards in your work life, you are now achieving status with it and achieving money. So this is money coming in over here. And this is uh, the card ruled by Saturn. So this is achievement as far as the work goes. This is reading, reaching a completion. 
So if you have been doing studying or doing any kind of learning, that now is now coming to an end, and you will be very victorious. If you are writing exams, uh, that kind of thing, uh, you know, it looks like you are passing and achieving the goals that you've wanted to. Like I said, there's a nice, huge, big snake here, so be careful of deceptive people around you. But all in all, despite all the negative, negative people around you, you are still going to be achieving things and, you know, reaching the top. So whatever you are, uh, have set your mind to, this is definitely a card of achievement. If you are going for a new um, promotion or a new job, you're definitely going to achieve it. And it's going to be paying very, very well as well. So in the past, you've got the six of, of swords over here, moving away from very, very difficult situations, but also having some help as well. Uh, so uh, this is the six, six of swords uh, moving into a better better position, but also getting help in order to do it. And that's been happening in the last year. You have overcome difficulties and are now moving away with some help. You've got the moon card over here. So you are going through a period or you've been going through a period of depression, feeling very lonely, confused, isolated, things not being very clear to you, uh, you know, still being very emotional about things here. Um, you know, uh, this is uh, seeing, uh, you know, m maybe being a little... Um, too fixated or too obsessed with what had happened in the past and not seeing clearly or not thinking clearly as well. And you are feeling very restricted, very tied up as well. You've got the Eight of Swords here, uh, you know. So whatever's been going on in your mind is the thing that is causing you to be restricted and not being able to see what you have got available to you. So whatever offers are uh, there for you, you're not seeing it because you are so depressed about whatever happened in the past. So you need to get out of that energy. It's, it's causing you to be stuck. Going into the future, you've got the King of Athemus here, which is the King of Swords. So there's some kind of legal decision coming in as well. Um, this is usually being victorious in any, in any kind of legal dispute. So whatever uh, official news, official uh, judgment, that comes in. Uh, and you're probably sitting and waiting for that to come through. But that, that is soon coming in. And if, if the opening cards are the world, there's a completion of that if there was a legal case that you're going through, that comes to an end. And it looks like you are going to be victorious in that particular situation. There might be a payout as well, some kind of financial reward coming in from that legal decision. So the decision is going to be made. You've got the King of Cups over here. So this is uh, getting some support from somebody around you who is very, maybe a father figure, um, somebody who uh, listens to you. This could be also getting professional advice from some kind of counselor or even seeking medical advice. So you're getting some kind of support uh, coming in for you here. But also, you know, uh, sitting back and enjoying the fruits of whatever you've worked for with this King of Cups over here. So whoever this is that is going to be able to help you or guide you through this difficult situation, uh, but also if you're having any health kind of issues, uh, you know, needing to seek um, medical care or treatment, uh, if you do need that, it could be stress-related illnesses uh, in order to overcome any kind of problems that you're going through. Around you, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, so this is how people see you. So whatever you are... Uh, doing as far as your work goes, this is a card of achievement. It's a card of uh, being very strategic, uh, being very organized. Um, and this is how people do see you. Uh, and it's also being in a position of authority and leadership as well. And being very stable. Um, you know, you're not uh, somebody that's fly by night. It seems like, you know, you're a very reliable person. And this is how the world sees you. Somebody who's very focused on their work and being able to do things very methodically as well. So what's your hopes and fears? You want a breakthrough. You want things to start moving. You want energy back. And you want, uh, you want to start something brand new, a new project. Uh, and maybe you want to travel because you've got this bird over there. And you maybe, you know, communicate with the world, really. Uh, so it looks like you want to broaden your horizons. So going into the future, you've got the Oak King. You've got the Queen of Athamas. And you've got the four of uh, Athamas. So the Oak Queen is the, um, you can see it's the hangman and you're waiting for things to change, uh, waiting th and you're making plans while you're waiting. You can see this man's drawing uh, in, in the ground over there. So you are making plans while you're sitting and waiting for things to come. And it doesn't look like you, have, you need to be proactive. It looks like if you sit and wait, things will come your way. Uh, just having patience and waiting for divine timing uh, and waiting for things to change uh, and making plans while you're you're at it. 
uh, and being very determined with this queen of Athamas is the queen of swords being determined uh, getting things done focusing on what you need to focus on and moving on and communicating with people if you need to so some kind of communication coming in for you over here some kind of message coming in over here and you being very determined taking things uh, in hand and moving forward this is also spending a lot of time by yourself so you are tending to be uh, to isolate yourself a little bit uh, while you're getting things done and you're sorting through problems that you have. And you've got the four of Athamas. It looks like there's some kind of, um, it's, there's a rest. You need to take a rest. You need to take a break. So if you don't, uh, you know, uh, de-stress, you're going to end up needing, uh, you know, um, some kind of medical intervention uh, because of stress-related illness. It looks like there's some kind of news coming in over here because you've got those B over here, news about work. So it might be an offer. This person here, this King of Cups, might be making you an offer that's going to be quite, um, you know, you're going to be quite impressed with. Uh, and um, it looks like you do need to take a little bit of a break uh, from all the stresses of life, maybe take a little bit of a holiday. Uh, because, you know, while you're waiting, while you're making these plans, waiting for things to come to, to, to fruition, um, you need to take that little bit of a break and rest. Uh, come up with a new plan. You need to get your, your thoughts back in order again. So uh, it looks like you need to review your situation and make some plans in order for you to, you to move forward, forward. It looks like, you know, you are waiting for some kind of legal decision, but I think that is going to probably be in your favor because you've got the King of Pentacles. There might be some kind of payout that comes with it. And that cycle now of difficulties are now over. So you need to get out of this negative phase that you're going through all these negative thoughts because they are keeping you from moving forward and they are stressing you out uh, because you definitely are in need of a little bit of a break or a little bit of a holiday so i'm just going to draw some cards from the angel tarot Right, you've got the strength card over here, which says great inner strength, release, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. So you need to take the bull by the horns and, uh, you know, take back your control of that situation um, in order for you to move forward. And uh, whatever obstacles or problems that you are dealing with, you will be able to sort it out uh, with this uh, strength card over here. Um, there's Archangel Ariel over here helping you out. So you will be able to sort out this particular problem. You've got the lover's card over here, which is talking about a decision, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good help. So, you know, if you do take that break and you do, um, you know, health returns, so any kind of stress, you do need to de-stress in order to get that health back again. And there's some important decision coming up for you, some kind of option coming up for you here. You've also got the four of air, which is the same here as this um, four of Athamas over here. So it's time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time for making a decision. Meditation can provide answers. So you're definitely very, very stressed out and you do need uh, a bit of a break. You do need to uh, come up with a new plan, new ideas, um, and you need to get those thoughts sorted out. But you need to do it from a place of uh, mental rest because it looks like you have been stressing out far too much. And you need to take a little bit of a break uh, in order for you to get your perspective uh, back again. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.